What's up, y'all? Taylor Exchange here with another video. If you're new to the channel, I'm a part-time reseller in North Texas. I'm here to show you how I make money selling things online. I was live for like two minutes, but then the live counter turned back to like zero, and I thought it, it, it had like lost that first two minutes. So I'm going to start back over. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys what I found at the thrift stores. I also got some inventory from my sister-in-law. So yeah, that was kind of a fail, but you know what? That, that happens whenever you're learning and, and trying new things. So I'll show you guys. This is a pair of Under Armour. It's a cold gear. Uh, Under Armour is a really good brand to sell. So it's a size small. It's not a great size. I don't know if it's a men or a woman's. I kind of held it up to me and it was kind of long. So, I, you know, I'm an adult medium. So it's probably a men's. And, you know, this kind of pant will sell for like 25 to 30 bucks. And it's, you know, it's a bread and butter type thing because I'm trying to spend like $5 or less per item. So this is like exactly my wheelhouse. Whenever I see Under Armour, I'm definitely going to buy it. The other item I threw over to the side. What's up, Outcountry? I threw it over to the side because I'd already started the live, but let me go grab that. It is this pair of jorts. This is a Tommy Hilfiger jort. And these are like, these are vintage for sure. I, I knew instantly just because of that patch. I mean, it was like so cool. I couldn't not buy it. So I spent $4 on these. And they're a size 40, so they're like massive. I mean, some massive dude's going to buy these. The button was a little like loose. So that's kind of an issue I think I need to disclose. But it also could be like the type of button. Like I really don't know. I imagine it's loose. You know, it's kind of like, it's kind of old. But yeah, these were comping out at like $56. So yeah, you let me know. Like, do you guys come across this a lot? I don't really uh, like remember this type of type of brand you know i'm 28 but like i know tommy hilfiger was really good in the 90s and um these were definitely like probably a good pair of jeans and they're gonna sell i'm gonna list them at like 49.99 and i'll disclose like the couple of issues next up uh, there's a mix of items that i sourced from a thrift store today i spent uh 87 but i also picked up a bunch of free inventory for my sister-in-law some of the free items that i picked up for like shoes. She had these Adidas shoes and they're kind of dirty and this does have gum on it, which if this was in the thrift store for like $3.99, I wouldn't buy it because of the gum. But um, if it comes off easy, I'll mess with it. If not, it's going to go in the garage sale pile. What's up, Dory? We're doing good here. I'm just kind of telling everyone like some of the items I picked up. I have like a lot, so I didn't really want to make a video and go through it. It seemed kind of dull and I didn't bring my GoPro with me. It wasn't in the truck, so I didn't get any footage. But um. Yeah. So we have another pair of shoes here. This is Vans off the wall. Um, this one's a little different. It's like not as heavy as your typical van. It actually may ship like first class. So she goes to Goodwill a lot to buy stuff for herself. Dora, you went to thrift stores today. That's what's up. Yeah. Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays are the days that I source for inventory. So it's a size eight and a half. You know, it's a really good size and black. It's a great color. So yeah, vans like these, you could list them at $29.99 or $39.99 and they're probably going to sell. I'll probably hit the white with like a magic eraser. That seems to do real well. And the bottoms, I really don't do too much. I make sure to pick the rocks out and like the stickers because we have like burrs here in Texas. You can see. So you kind of you kind of get a lot of that. But yeah, she just was like, I have a bunch of shoes and I have a bunch of Apple boxes because I mentioned to her that Apple boxes sell. So check this out. She recently bought the iPad Pro. So the iPad's not in here, but this Pro box is going to sell for like, I think each box was about 10 to like $20. So I got the iPad Pro box. What's up, Eric? How's it going, man? It's good to see you. I have a lot to list too. I decided to go live and kind of share what I picked up today. I spent like 87 bucks and I got a lot of free inventory for my sister-in-law, Erica. So thank you, Erica. I know you're probably not going to watch this, but if you do, you are thanked. She also bought the smart keyboard or keyboard for the Apple. You know, she like upgraded her tech. And yeah, so these boxes, those two there. And then she also got the Apple Pencil. And then she also got, I guess, a new iPhone. So she really was balling. And I'm going to list these four Apple boxes for like $49.99 with free shipping. Because each one by themselves is about $10. And these are definitely going to sell. I mean... Yeah, they're going to be good sellers. And empty boxes are like the best thing because it's like you're selling trash, you know. I'll put that to the side. 
I like that emoji, man. I'm not really good on my emoji keyboard game. I, I see everyone do like the the like strong arm and like the you know that little dap one, and I'm I don't know how to do any of that. So I just know like the semicolon and the parentheses for like the wink, you know, like you used to do on the the old school phones. So we also have a pair of Nike Team Hustle DTs. These shoes here. It's got the big check on it, which is pretty dope. And she's she, like, it's got it's got the words here. This is a good thing. So she has really good style, and that helps whenever she has like clothes and things that she's not going to wear or, or use. But I'm trying to get her into reselling because I'd love to have her like list part time because she's um, an art major and she does photography and she's really good at taking photos. And I feel like she could just pump out a bunch of them, and I could just pay her a little bit of money, you know, and and kind of get her into the the reselling game. These treads here are in like tremendous condition. So she likely got these from Goodwill and warm a couple times and then just bought another pair, you know, but yeah, these Nikes, I typically look up the art number on each one that I list, but it seems like you can buy Nikes and sell them for like 25, 30 and even $40 that I've never even heard of. You know, they're just like run of the mill Nikes. And there's so many out there that they're really easy to spot and really easy to pick up. She had a pair of New Balance. These are the Fresh Foams. You can kind of tell because of the little wave here. Uh, fresh Foam. I've sold a couple of these. And this one's the Arish. Arish, maybe? I hope you guys can see that. Anyway, these are probably like $30 shoes. These are a lot dirtier. She wore these quite a bit. I actually remember seeing her wear these. But um, I'll clean it up. I'll hit it with the Magic Eraser. But yeah, those are probably like 30 bucks. Dory, I thought of you, Sean. I saw a VCR for $7, but I held up because I'm not to that point yet, I think. Yeah, I mean, if it was a combo unit, you should have jumped all over. But if it was just like a VCR and you didn't recognize the brand, I wouldn't have spent 7 Because the ones that aren't like notable brands, like I spend like 5 or less. And those typically, I list them for like $39.99 with free shipping and they'll sell like instant. But if it was like Sony, Philips, Magnavox, or... um can't really remember the other ones but yeah those will those sell typically for like 60 bucks with free shipping so seven dollars may have been all right um if you are gonna buy make sure to plug them in and then if they have a vhs cassette make sure to put it in and, and like listen to it fast forward and rewind and then make sure it ejects because if it doesn't do any of those things then yeah you don't want to buy it eric i got in the door at a pair of Air Jordan Retro 3 Special Edition Denim Fire Red. Love selling Nikes and Air Jordan. But, dude, you know, like, you know what that means, you know? When I read that, I'm just like, that's probably a nice basketball shoe. But, I mean, I know Jordans are valuable, but, like, you know, like, the specifics and stuff, which is dope. And you're probably, like, okay spending big money for it because you know what it's going to turn into, you know? And I'm not I'm not really at that point. So, I'm kind of like Dory whenever it, you know. Dory said I lost connections. I'll, I'll run it back. I don't mind. I mean, there's six people watching, which I appreciate every single one of you guys. Dory, you said you saw a VCR for $7. If it said the word Sony, Philips, Magnavox, which may be like partner brands, I don't know. And those are like the main ones I hit. If I feel like there's another one. Y'all can say in the chat, if, if Sony, Magnavox, Philips, um, I feel like there's another really popular one from that time. But yeah, if it said those, those are typically $59.99 free shipping, but that's like without the combo unit if it's the combo unit you definitely want to pick it up i'll pay up to like 20 to 30 to 40 dollars on the combo unit just depending on the model but if it's like a run-of-the-mill one like okay there's jvc jvc is pretty decent but there's an sv2000 there's like a hitachi one which i didn't know hitachi made vcrs but it seemed like everyone was just trying to get into it yeah regular one if it was ge like some of those just aren't like worth picking up because you're you're taking a risk you can sell it for 40 or 50 bucks, but then it could not work. And some of those just aren't as, aren't as good. So this is also from the free lot for my sister-in-law, another pair of Nikes. These are like, uh, let's see. These are the flex 2013 runs, you know, they're in decent condition and all these shoes, like I've actually gotten away from buying this type of stuff at the thrift store because it's typically 499 at the one I go to. But if I was at a garage sale and I found them for $2, I would do it. And I know $3 isn't like that big of a difference, but if your max profit on these is like $15, then you might accept a low offer. And then that $3 kind of makes, makes a little bit of a difference because I'm trying to make $10 per item. So if max profit is like $15, then I know I only have $5 of wiggle room if I get like a low offer. So right now I'm trying to like 
my my shoe rack's actually like less than but i just picked up a bunch of shoes for free and then i bought a bunch today so but i, I found better ones and i'm about to get to those next last up she got another this is another used pair from her this is a nike free run threes these are like dirty i mean my like my camera or the lighting's not great in here but like these are bad i may throw these in the wash i don't really do that to shoes i don't take that much time but i probably wouldn't have picked these up but yeah, look, she even she even has like the Goodwill tag like still inside. Like she didn't even take it out to wear it. She's just savage. But anyway, yeah, I don't know. These may go in the garage sale pile. Like I've been I've been stocking up like a big pile for garage sale stuff. So I'm gonna have one before it cools off because I want to catch the wave. I spot two dumbbells. These are a uh, these are twelves twelve pounders, and it's pro spirit brand never heard of them and then i also picked up a 12 pound reebok one now i paid up for these these were 3.99 a piece uh weights are kind of going for about two dollars a pound but i figured since they're both 12 even though they're not the same brand and they're not even the same shape but they're both 12s and they're both that same material oh I like shook the whole table they're the same material so i figure i can just like put them together and they'll they'll fit in a medium flat rate. So I'll probably list those at 49.99 and I have like $8 and you know, 56 cents in them. I waste too, but I never bought them. Yeah. You probably, probably should have like, it just depends. I mean, um, how much to ship. So these two weights are going to fit in a medium flat rate box. That's $12 and 80 cents after the, the discount. And I'm going to list them at 49.99. So $8 and 12, you know, you're looking at like 20, $21 and then like the fees. So maybe five. So yeah, they're probably like a $20, $20 pickup if they sell for 50, which I think they will. I mean, weights have been selling pretty fast and those might not have been a good purchase because I paid up for them, but weights are selling so quick. I'm like, okay, doing that, you know, um, if it's the bigger weights, like if you're saw like plates, you can fit them in like the elongated medium flat rate. I was able to fit some, some plates in there and ship them. That's still $12 and eight cents. And then worst case scenario, use the um, large flat rate. And I don't know. I mean, you could probably do FedEx for some, but yeah, the weight's going to kill you, you know? So you kind of got to fit in a flat rate to get your, the most bang for your buck, but they are quick sellers, you know? If you, and most people aren't going to complain because a weight to weight, like the ones I sold, earlier this week, they're, uh, they're rusty, you know? So it's one of those things that nobody really cares. As long as they have the weight and they're able to work out, they're going to be happy. Brittany from essential endeavors just got here. She's really good on her emoji game. Eric, you and her could probably like collab and throw like some, some cool emojis back and forth. She says, are you finding weights at your garage sales? Are you only finding? Well, see, yeah. One, I, I hit up a neighbor down the road because I bought weights personally for me. I think it was about a six months ago this is before I thought selling weights was a good idea. And then I went back there and I, I picked up all the rest of his weights. I paid 60 bucks and I've already made like three times that. And I haven't even sold all of them yet. So yeah, I found some dumbbells. They're 12 pounders, the soft ones. And I paid like $8 for each dumbbell. So that, or I mean, $4 for each. So $8 total, definitely not like uh, not the best purchase, but it's going to be a fast flip. And I'm all about like the fast money. Eric pirate ship has been under $10 for certain heavy items for me. I finally signed up and love it. Yeah. So I think it's $20 and I wish Brittany and I would have talked to that in our little um, conversation because I tried to ship those dumbbells. I had a 45 and a 40 and it was like what 85 pounds and pirate ship was the same rate as like FedEx. So I ended up having to ship them in two separate medium flat rates, which was still pretty cheap. And I made like a lot of money, but yeah, pirate ship. If you guys don't know, go sign it up. It's really cool when you log in too. Cause it says like, Yar, like you're back and then you log in and it's, it's pretty dope. So yeah, you're gonna make some money on that. Definitely with the VCRs too. Eric, I need to start dabbing in pirate dabbling. Yeah, we can talk about it. Like it's, it's pretty dope. I mean, I think I sent a, um, oh, what did I send this morning? Oh, it was a Ford Mustang, uh, radio, like the stock radio. And you know, it was kind of like six pounds or so, and you can't really fit it in a good flat rate. Well, for I thought about putting it in a medium flat rate box. It might have fit in there. It would have been a little bulgy, but I did pirate ship and it was seven dollars and fifty six cents. So just by switching my shipping platform and then you got to upload the tracking to eBay, I saved like five dollars and that's like mad money. So 
Brittany. I want to join your channel after seeing y'all collab. Excellent, Dory. Go subscribe to Brittany. She's she's awesome. You're more than welcome to come over. Yeah, Brittany actually has like gates at the front of her YouTube channel, so you have to like you have to be uh, you have to be worthy of it. So we had lots of fun on our collab. Sean was schooling me up on all the shipping hacks. Well, I mean, I just learned that um, like I had a pirate ship for a while, but I didn't realize like the value of the box in a bag and that's really where the money comes in with the cubic shipping so yeah but we burnt through a lot of trash bags like i think there's like two left in the kitchen and i know when my when my wife reaches for one and they're gone like i'm definitely gonna hear it so i probably need to go buy some of those this weekend for my ebay money and then you know keep them in this room just put a password to enter yeah wayne's world movie quote i'm not worthy exactly exactly so i'm going over my inventory like not my inventory but my source haul today I spent $87 at a thrift store. I got a bunch of stuff. I can show you the receipt. Oh, I lied. It was $82. So uh, I didn't spend more than $5.99 on one item, which it was a pair of boots, which I'm going to grab them right now because they're awesome. Let's see. There you go. Check these out. So I got a pair of Merrells. If you guys don't know Merrells, these are like legit. I mean, if these were a size 10 and a half, I would wear these all the time. So these are the waterproof. I'm surprised it doesn't say Gore-Tex on it, but uh, nonetheless, it's a size 12, which is an excellent, excellent size. But these Merrells might, and they're the Vibram soles. So if you guys don't know what Vibram is, oh, my camera, my lighting there, you get a little bit of it. Anyway, Vibram's like, the technology in the sole and it's, it's super awesome. I mean, these are probably like a hundred to $150 boots and I paid six bucks for them. So I don't know, maybe this model is not as expensive, but it's, it's definitely going to be a big sell. So yeah, I, I grabbed those so fast. Like it was the first item I saw when I went in the thrift store and I was just like snatch, like I probably would have like pushed somebody out of the way for that one. Like those are definitely good sellers. Might be the best pickup. I mean, I have a pair of Tommy Hilfiger jeans. They're or jorts I showed earlier. I'm gonna like hang hang on to those because I want to know more. You guys, let me know, especially you, Brittany. If these are like super vintage, like valuable, probably thirty five to forty five based on models selling those models. You're talking about the Merrells? Oh, they gotta be more than that. I don't know. I'll run comps. You might be right, but I usually I usually price my Merrells pretty high. But yeah, these. These jorts, they're size 40, but look at the patch. I mean, they're legit, like, and then the tag, too. It's like this right here with the red. So, yeah, these are pretty good. Let's see. Style number on these. Yeah, these are the, it's the ridge the Ridgeline Mid Ventilators. So, J88405. J88405. A405 on the Merrells. Okay. So yeah, if you guys if somebody could look that up to check check Brittany on her 35 to 45. I, mean, I think they're a little bit better than that. But anyway, I did pick up four of these. Now the lighting's terrible, but this is true spec. So true spec is like a uh it's like a police type pant. It's the ripstock technology. If you guys don't know ripstock, it's the ones that look like little grids on the jean or on the pant. You see them in like 511 Tacticals is, is most notable. I think they're the ones who really, and then military pants as well have it. But I picked up four of these. They're all size 36, which is a pretty excellent, excellent size. And I paid $3.99 a piece. So I'm probably going to list them at like, I don't know, probably like $34.99. And um, then I'll just put a quantity of four because they didn't have any like tears or any like stains. So they all kind of look the same. And I don't know if you guys do quantity multi-quantity listings on used items but for something like that i do i really haven't had any issues with it louis do those tommies if vintage are major score do extra research on extra research on other platforms to get a better price bro yeah man that's a good tip right there from louis if you guys see that it's um yeah like the first comp i looked on ebay was 56 dollars, and that was like i didn't even look anymore i was just like i'm definitely gonna buy them and it was actually right at the end when I was about to check out, they make like this last call. It's a uh, local first store like that helps the homeless. It's the faith mission. Yeah. Resell. So they make like this really funny, like last call, you know, they say, if you're still in the store, you're going to be stuck cleaning and like 
putting stuff back on the shelves and then they want everyone to leave. So I like looked over and I saw those and I really don't like buying clothes, but today I decided to buy like a few things because my eBay store is kind of getting a little lower. It's at like two thirty six on items and I want to like increase it. And I know clothes are like slow moving, but it's kind of nice to have them trickle in, you know, I have a couple bags. Of stuff. Let's see. These are more of the pants. Put these up here. So I got this pair of Keen, like casual shoes. If you guys haven't heard of Keen, Keen's a really good brand. I've never actually seen this style of Keen shoe. So I I looked up comps a little bit because sometimes shoes that like Keen is like a trail shoe, kind of like Merrill. If shoes like go outside their comfort zone, sometimes their shoes can be total bust. You know, like absolutely not worth it. But these Keens were selling pretty good, and it's got like it's got like the Oxford toe. And that's anytime you see the stitching, like kind of like there, I guess. I think that's what it is. But yeah, whenever I saw that in the title, I changed on one of the one of the listings. I changed my uh, search and it was able to bring up all of these. Because at first I just put like Merrill casual shoe used. And then when I saw one of the listings that had more specific details on the actual shoe, I typed that into my search. And then when I filtered it, I got a bunch of the ones that I wanted to see so I can make a, a wise decision. But yeah, any of the shoes with laces at that thrift store is $4.99. And then the slip-ons are $2.99, which is a really big a big um, saver for me. But yeah, these were really clean. They're size 9. I'm always looking for size 10 and a half because that's the size I wear. And I never find like 10 and a half. I found one pair of Brooks and a pair of Merrells. And I mean, I've bought hundreds of shoes. And those are the only two. And I wear them all the time. Like they're my main shoes. So we also have a pair of Skechers Go Walk 2s. I don't know how many of you guys like see these in your thrift stores, but I, I pick these up all the time. These go walks, they ship first class and I usually list them. If I want to sell them like quick, I'll, I'll list them for $29.99. And that means if they're like a little warm, but if they're in really good condition, I'll go as high as like $39.99 or $49.99. Um, but yeah, go walks like it's a, it's an excellent color. What's up, Brian? Welcome. Brian was in my first live. If you guys um, had, decided to catch that one that's whenever i like messed up all my garage sale footage which i don't really want to get into but somebody said i can use like file scavenger and like recover them so i may do that but i don't really know yeah go walk sketchers go walks i paid 2.99 for these i mean they ship first class because they're so light and that's that's a big saver if it's going to the other side the other coast here's another pair here this is the Sketchers. It says like memory foam, relax fit, air cooled, which is weird because almost all the Sketchers say like relax fit, air cooled, memory foam. So whenever you type it in, you'll come up with a bunch of listings. But yeah, these are in pretty good condition. These are more of like a durable type slip on for Sketchers, and I haven't really come across this uh, material on them, so I'm I'm interested to see how these do. But um, these are like your, I guess like deck shoes. I guess it's Sketchers version of like a a deck shoe. So pretty cool, you know. These are two ninety nine. Definitely good pickup. Man, running sneakers are always dirty and overpriced for me. Yeah, I don't know. What what part of the country are you in, Brian? Maybe that has something to do with it. I know nothing about men's clothes and shoes. Just my husband's would be glad just to wear Old Navy and Vans. And he's like 46. Susan? Yeah, I mean, and Brittany actually talks a lot about how she sells, you know, like, I call them like mediocre brands, you know, like Old Navy, but they sell, you know, if you lot them together and you buy them for really cheap, they'll definitely sell. I think Skechers are underrated. See, I was telling someone at the thrift store, which this was the first time in that thrift store that I talked with like a three of the, I, like the main manager that does the pricing. I told her I resell, but I think she kind of forgot. But when I bought like all this stuff today, she was like talking to me and asking me questions about it. So I told her and then the other two managers, like everything I broke down, like how much I'm going to make for each item. And she pretty much was like, you need to come find me because I put out a bunch of shoes and I'm glad you bought them. And I can like, she said she takes another guy to the back. So if you can get that in with somebody at a thrift store, you're going to make some mad money. And yeah, it's, I mean, they're overwhelmed with inventory, you know, so they like need people to buy, but they have like, they have people that go in that just, they buy like crazy. And I don't know if they're flea market people or what, but um, it seems like they just buy whatever, you know, so I don't want them to grab like a hundred dollar, $200 item. It's like, save that for me. You know, like I got a truck payment. I got stuff to do, you know, thanks for edging coat by me. Oh, Susan, it's fine. Like I've learned so much from people on YouTube. Like it's don't worry. Everyone has stuff to learn. Like I'm constantly learning stuff too, but you're welcome. This is another pair of sketchers. I've actually done really good with the all blacks 
And this one has like the bungee lace. Oh, I need to do something better about my lighting. I did pick up a mic, everybody, just to show off the mic. It's a toner mic. And sat hear how I sound like this without the mic. And then whenever I have the mic, even though it's out of like the screen, it still sounds way better. So that mic I picked up uh, on Lego. It's super dope. You can re you can find them on eBay for like 40 to 50 bucks. And I thought about selling it. This woman had it listed on Lego for $40. And I said 20 because I always lowball people on Lego because I'm a reseller and, you know, I'm cheap. But she said, yeah, 20 is fine. And then I typed in her address because I had to go pick it up and it was 15 minutes away. So I said, would you take like 15 because I got to drive, you know, all the way there. And now I got that truck. So it's like a lot of gas. And she said, yeah, 15 is fine. So she was a failed Twitch streamer, but I appreciate her buying this toner mic because it's really up my like the quality of the sound. I just need to get better lighting, you know? So yeah, this one and see, it's the same deal. It says relaxed fit air cooled memory foam. But for $2.99, like I'll probably list these at like $29.99 or $39.99. Just depends. I, I always look up comps before because, you know, I go through a lot and I just, I always forget. All right. We have this one. Yeah. Look at that. Another pair. These ones are definitely worn a little. You can't even see like the inside. These are the Go Go Pillars. Almost like Go Caterpillars, but oh no, Sketcher Go Walks 3. So yeah, it's on the inside there. So these are the threes. I actually don't know if I've picked these up before, but um, look at all these like sticker burrs from Texas. I mean, these are always in these foam type soles. I mean, you definitely have to pick these out. I don't clean the bottoms of the shoes anymore. I used to scrub them and scrub them and scrub them, but now I just like rinse them because they're like in one of my photos and usually people want to see the treads, not like, and I mean, if it's like dirt, mud, like, yeah, clean it. But if it's just like, that stain kind of look, I wouldn't even waste the magic eraser because treads are usually like, you know, have some grip and it'll just tear up that magic eraser. And those magic erasers are kind of expensive. So, but yeah, these slip ons, I mean, these are excellent pickups. If you can pay less than like five bucks, I would get them every time because they ship first class. All right. So that bag's pretty much done. Okay. So I found some more shoes. Yeah. They just put out shoes and I hadn't been there in like, a week i think these are um brooks they're the pure flows pure flow and it's a men's size 11 so excellent size the color's pretty good like the treads though are pretty worn definitely not like a heavy hitter i mean some of these were selling for like close to 100 used you know like 60 75 but these are probably going to be like 30 dollar, 40 dollar shoes but um yeah people who like brooks and who know what they feel like they'll pay for these because they may not be able to afford like the brand new pair, but they definitely want a pair of Brooks or they want to buy like their old um, model because, you know, running shoes, they, inc they change their models every year. And some people that are like serious runners don't want to get new models of the shoe. They just want the same one they've been wearing. So they'll go to eBay and other platforms and they'll buy you shoes. So, but those, yeah, I paid five forty for those after tax, probably not the best pickup, but I was on a roll and I was kind of like, let's, let's buy them all. So, this is the gel Nimbus. Um, what is this? Gel Nimbus 15. So yeah, gel Nimbus. Gel Nimbus. It's a pretty dope shoe. It's a woman's size nine. So it's, it's you know, a little bigger size, but decent. The treads are in pretty good condition. You could still kind of see the patterns and whatnot in here. And yeah, they definitely need to be cleaned. She was running in the grass, I guess. But um, a solid shoe here. Like the Nimbus and the, I think it's the gel Cumulus or I don't know if... I, I know I'm not pronouncing that right, but those two are pretty solid for the um, the A6. Word up, same here, so convenient. Let's check the chat. Eric, use your iPhone for videos or pictures. Either way, I do the same for both. Yeah, the iPhones, the camera's pretty pretty awesome. I used to do it with the iPad for my videos. And I still do sometimes. At Susan, I didn't see it. Make sure you spell it with a U and Endeavors. Endeavors is hard to spell. I agree. Level, I know it's weird. It's just the global spelling of it. And I grew up so spelling my dad in the UK. Your dad's from the UK. That's cool. My brother's actually in the UK right now. He's in London. No, he's at the base. He's in Mendenhall, but it's it's near there. I use my phone for eBay, YouTube, everything. Word up, same here. I, mean, I use my phone for long too. Yeah, super convenient. It's super small. I mean, I agree. All right, we have those shoes there. And then, ah, last item. So I think I went through everything. If you, if you didn't see some of the items I bought, like I'm not going to show them again, 
You'll just have to watch like the beginning of the video. I bought this Ralph Lauren. It's like a V-neck uh, sweater pullover. And yeah, I don't really know what this is going for because I'm going to wear it. I'm going to put like a little button up on probably a cheap button up and then wear like the nice polo over it so that people are like, oh man, like that dude's got really nice style. No, they're actually just really soft and really comfortable and it has a nice clean look and it's black. You know, I'm really into like grays, blacks, and then whites, but um, that's all I have for you guys. I really appreciate the 90 of you guys that decided to join. I got to go eat dinner with my wife and I have to clean up my room. I'm going to give you a quick shot of the room. You can just see right here all the shoes and my dog and he's going to help me list hopefully but probably not he usually just sits there and like chills out but i appreciate everyone coming thank you guys i love it whenever people join the lives i'm going to start doing lives whenever i do the sourcing because those videos are kind of boring but what i think i'll do is like i'll put some of the sourcing on the videos that i do when i go garage sailing but then if i source during the week i think i'll just pop onto a live and just like you know check in with you guys and see how everyone's doing Clean the damn ass, Louis. Yeah, I know, dude. I, I'm actually pretty organized. Like, you know, that's that's a little bad for me, but I'm going to put them all in one tub, all the shoes, and then I'm going to go through and put them in my bathtub, and I'm going to clean all of them and then put them back in the other tub and bring them in, list them, and then the clothing, you know, I'll just kind of knock that out when I have time. Thank you guys for joining. I'm signing off. Take it easy and have a good night.